We've got to stick this one. James! And it's Dan James to make it 1-0 at Wembley in the 55th. He's absolutely lashed at it there. Rashford has just burnt David Luiz. And it's a goal. It's Marcus Rashford to start off the scoring in Sancho. Rashford has to score and he does. We've taken it all the way to 2-0 in the 70th minute there. Rashford, oh, he's just turned him. And it's a hat-trick. Marcus Rashford has scored a hat-trick against Arsenal. Hey, guys. My name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 career mode here today on the channel. We're back on our Manchester United modded realism series. This is episode 18 of season 1. Here today we have the final month in the season in May and it's all to play for. So there's a couple things to highlight. So we've got Crystal Palace still in the league. The title race is still on. We've got Arsenal in the second leg of the Europa League. We started off last episode really well with a 3-0 win against Arsenal, so we can simulate the next fixture because it's a home match. Uh, we managed to beat Newcastle 1-0 in the FA Cup, and we've booked a spot at Wembley. So, we've still got Crystal Palace, West Ham, Leicester, and Southampton to secure our title push. Easier fixtures than what you would probably think, um, because we've been playing really bad against lower to mid-table sides. We've been smashing like the top six and Europe's top six, but the lower teams are just bogey teams for me. But we face Jose Mourinho Spurs in the FA Cup final as well. Uh, Spurs have played really good this season in the Cups, but not so much in the league itself. So guys, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Really helps out the channel. Uh, let me know, players, you like me to sign for Season 2. We have Champions League football, I'd say, nailed on. But if you don't want to see Season 2, maybe we could accept another job. Maybe if the Chelsea job comes up? I don't know. I think I want to do Season 2 because I want to bring glory back to Manchester United in the Champions League. So... Um, I just want to sort of strategize this. So, we'll play up against Crystal Palace now. We can simulate this one against uh, Arsenal. So, I could actually play the first team here. First team, Sim, second team. Yeah, we'll just have a look. Because if the first team... I think we've just played Arsenal. So, the first team might actually be... Yeah, the first team's exhausted. So, we're going to have to actually play the second team. Okay, uh, that is fine. Also, check out if you want to support the channel. Completely optional, of course. Patreon and joining to become an, a member. When I live stream, you get really cool emotes. Just little integrated YouTube things. But uh, it's completely optional. Supporting the video by a comment, leaving the video a like, really helps out the channel and puts the videos out there in the YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate any uh, sort of feedback and suggestions and support you can give me. Okay, so we've got a Galo, James Pereira leading the line. Bernadeschi, Scott McTominay, Grealish, Fosu, Smalling, Bailey, and Shaw. This is a match we need to win. Uh, Sancho's a bit exhausted. I'm just trying to see if I can bring anyone else to make it a bit of a hybrid squad. Because I've got two squads here, clearly. My first team, and then my youth, slash, second, slash, B team. The thing is, with the current league standings, Crystal Palace away might be a little bit tricky, because... It could go either way. They've drawn they've they've drawn eleven, they've won twelve and lost twelve. We currently sit in third of the Premier League. They're, Liverpool are only two points ahead of us. We're drawing with City. The title race is still on and still very close. We've got two games in hand. Liverpool have one and City don't have any. So it's probably a little bit we're probably in a better position than what it really looks. Uh we do lack like Goal scoring compared to those teams, which is interesting. Chelsea Spurs in 4th and 5th. Arsenal in 10th. Newcastle look like they're going to get relegated. If Newcastle do get relegated, let me know in the comments. Should I just try and buy as many of their players as I can? Like St. Maximin. Um... I, don't, I probably don't need, like, a Yedlin, but maybe someone like that. Like, you never know. When the when the Champions League comes around next year, having a third-choice right-back might be... Like, for five mil, it might be worth it. Same with Southampton. Burnley, as well, might have some better centre-back pairings. And Aston Villa, because we are playing on the realism mod. We're probably going to get a decent amount of money uh, next season. But still, we will have to be cautious. Mane is the top goal scorer, followed by Sterling, Jorginho. Rashford is United's. He scored a hat-trick in the last episode. But without further ado, let's get stuck into Crystal Palace. Um, yeah, let's play with... Mm, the black might have to do. 
because that kit might clash. So we're going up against Crystal Palace. We're going down to Selhurst Park on Ultimate Difficulty. It is currently raining. We're playing with the second squad. We need the points here today. But the second, the first team's exhausted, so we're just going to really have to leave it to it. We were really fortunate beating Arsenal 3-0, so we're going to be able to get some breathing room. We can simulate that match. There's no way Arsenal are going to come back anywhere near that at Old Trafford. The thing is with Arsenal, they've actually been floating around 14th and 15th this season. They've actually been playing quite embarrassingly. But we're coming up against Crystal Palace, who have arguably had a better season than Arsenal. And we're probably going to be struggling against this type of opposition. So they're playing a 4-5-1, which is interesting. Uh, Jordan Ayew is one of the league's top goal scorers. So they've rotated the, def the goalkeeper. Ward, Tompkins, Cahill, Van Arnholt. He could be a player we could pick up in the future. Ayew's playing right midfield. He scored a lot of goals. Even someone like that to replace Igalo. Because his loan's probably going to go back. Maya, Coyate, Perotti. Yeah, there's no way Perotti plays for Crystal Palace in real life. Yeah, Perotti from Roma. And they've got Brandon Perrick. What is this team? It's like they should have switched IU for Perrick. Okay, but a must-win match with Manchester United B. We need the points here today away at Selhurst Park. I reckon the second team is going to be able to do it, but we can sort of sacrifice the weaker opposition because we needed uh, we needed to beat Arsenal. Um, oh, it's actually the other way around. We faced them at home, didn't we? So it's not a home fixture. I, I've been mistaken. I just I just thought about it there. I was like, we're about to go to oh, we're about to go to the Emirates. No, that's not true because we beat them three 0 at Old Trafford. Oh, I wonder if that changes things. I tried to cut back there. I don't know why the ball went straight up. We might be able to put some pressure on Crystal Palace, though. Yeah. Bernadeschi trying to watch the ball there. Scott McTominay looking for the tackle. Luke Shaw with a good little flick on. And United trying to build something from central midfield. I shouldn't... Why am I Ronaldo chopping in my own half? Like, who do I think I am? I just don't need to do that. Smalling, good cut back. Oh, what an interception there by Bay. But we've lost it here. Oh, Dave, man. Saved me so much. I'm really... Oh, what am I doing? 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm like trying to play it out from the back. Come on. I was being wasteful there. And now they're sitting super deep. Cheeky. Bernadeschi has to convert, and he does. Bernadeschi makes it 1-1 just before the 17th. It should be just 1-0, to be honest. But he's come up with a goal here. Signing for £21 million from Juventus in January. Scott McTominay finds a Garlo, takes a touch, hammers it on his right, and he scores his fourth goal of the Premier League. How crazy that Bernadeschi coming in January scored more goals this season than Anthony Martial. I feel bad, but he's gone to a better place. Not figuratively, he's uh, he's gone to Real Sociedad. Well, depending on who you ask, it might as well be worse than death. <laughs> because, oh. Oh, what are these balls? Smalling's just had to keep on going here. And it's back to Bernadeschi again. Yeah, I found where I like to play him. It's in attacking midfield. Can we get an overlapping run here? Nah, we'll just go centrally. Bernadeschi, Agalo has really done too much. But it's Agalo trying to make it 2-0. It wasn't a convincing shot. Also, a crazy stat this season. Agalo scored 16 goals in all competitions. Aloni, who's 30 from China who we can't permanently sign. I'm blown away as to how formidable he is in the Premier League and in all competitions. He just lives up. He's 30. He's got a lot of overall stats. His overall is only like 77. He doesn't have the pace. He doesn't have the agility and sort of even finishing compared to... Oh, what is this, man? 
Yeah, I wish I had a better squad I could play, but... Look, I made the sacrifice in the Europa League to play the weaker side against Crystal Palace, but we can't afford to lose this. Like, realistically. A draw, we might be able to build something from it, but a loss... That could be it, because it's only... I've been saying this, the title race is so, so close. We're pushing it to the limit, like, I really don't want to... Oh, McTominay with bad distribution here. I don't want to lose the Premier League in my first season because we, we probably won't get a chance. Like, this is it. We've been pushing it so hard. A lot of teams are really sitting off in this. They're focusing on, like, Chelsea are focusing. Chelsea, Liverpool, and City all went super deep in the Champions League this year. Like, I think it's actually going to be maybe a all-English Champions League final. Which is really interesting. And we've just been closed down here. They are really defending tight here. Crystal Palace. They're 2-1 up at Selhurst Park. If we were to lose. It would only be our second of the season. That's a great ball in. It's coming to Shaw. Ah. Oh, what a fake shot there. So, I was questioning the starting 11 for Crystal Palace. But it seems that Roy the boy has figured out something tactically that I don't. And I think it's a little bit too late for a last minute attempt. But that's a great ball over the top to Agarlo, who's going to chop. It's Odegaard Agarlo to bring us back just before half time there. It's 2 2. And like I said, he can't stop scoring. He seriously can't. That is crazy. I don't believe how well I've been playing with him. I'm so happy as well. He's a Manchester United supporter through and through. I had to sort of whip it over the top there. And Agalo's smashed it at Selhurst Park. What a finish from the Nigerian international to score seven goals this season. Twice more than Tony Marshall. <laughs> I keep on bashing him in this, but I'm just super disappointed that I had to go out and spend $75 million and do a swap deal for him because... He just wasn't good enough. But Crystal Palace have given, a, given us a run for our money here. It is 2-2. Two, two. A draw we could work with. It's bad. It puts a lot of pressure on us when we're facing other lower league opposition. But as you can see here, Crystal Palace are outperforming Arsenal on the European stage. Fosu to McTominay. Oh, McTominay couldn't break there. I might have to do some substitutions soon. It's But it's Perotti who's doing really well for Crystal Palace. They're on the attack here. Ward. Looking to get the ball in. A nice little cutback. A nice one-two pass. It's Jordan Ayew at the edge of the box. The ball comes in. And Dave's just really sitting on his line there. Oh, what am I doing? God, I want to try and play it out from the back with these players, but I sometimes just forget how... Oh, McTominay. Oh, is he through here? To James! Oh! He might have been offside. Was it offside? Yeah, just. It was just, it looked, it was just kind of weird how he opened the defense up so quick, to be honest. That's why I thought it was... That's why I sort of called it. James fluffed it up anyway. Try and get this ball over the top. Ooh. Like, making it go physical when it probably didn't have to be. Oh. Bernadeschi is away here. Oh, that's a pen. That's got to be a pen. It's got to be a red as well. I want the whole kitchen sink thrown at him. I think it's going to be a free kick, though. I don't think it was in the box. Oh. He fell into it. Sometimes those are given. Uh, who's got the free kick acclimate in this squad? It's probably actually... Bernadeschi. But we'll just have to see. No, that was... That was terrible. He couldn't get it up and over the wall. EA, please allow me to score free kicks. I probably should have just tried to quickly get it to Agarlo. But speaking of Agarlo... Can he score his second?! But it's a great save. Um, yeah, Bernadeschi is exhausted. So, I guess we'll bring on Pogs. 
And I guess Rashford can come on for James. And we'll bring Greenwood on, probably. I think that's probably where we're going to have to play it. Just everyone's so exhausted. Which I don't blame them. Ball comes in. It's bouncing around. Come on, United. If we can get the ball to Rashford, he's probably going to score here. Oh, it's McTominay. He's been tackled. Eric Bay. Because we can't afford to lose either. That's the thing. Oh, that's a great ball. Crystal Palace looking dangerous. Oh, they got a free kick. South London and Proud. Fair enough. Dave needs to try and bring it out here. Agalo. How is Van Arnhold out muscling him? Oh, come on. You'd think physically Agalo would be able to hold him off a bit better than that. I think. Maybe not. Ball comes in for Crystal Palace. It's only been dealt with as far as McCarthy. It's Max Meyer, the former Schalke man. Determined to stake his claim in the Premier League. But Paul Pogba is just waiting for runners. If we be a little bit cautious here. Oh, Grealish. Shoots. Oh, I thought that went in, man. Come on, United. We can do better than this. We have been doing better than this. Far out, mate. Koyate. Oh, no. It's Ayu. It's Jordan Ayu. Luke Shaw. The crumbs as keep on going forward. <sighs> Far out. Ugh, is a draw enough? I just don't know. Oh. Because I know a loss isn't. A Galo. Yep, come on. We've still got enough time to maybe get in to lead, but we just need to be so careful as we push here. We're probably only going to get one last serious attempt, and we can't afford to spoil it. Pogba's gone straight into to Tompkins there. But also, on the break as well, Crystal Palace have looked so deadly. Rashford stuck in a tackle. Second team against mid-table Crystal Palace. With an exhausted midweek match. Yeah. Did we really need to go all out against Arsenal at home? I think we did, but... You be the decide of that. But Agalo's away here. He's put it way too far in front of him. Draws could cost us the league. We've just got too many of them. I might have to chop him here. Because if this ball comes in, it's gone straight to Crystal Palace. Van Arnholt. Yeah, that's it. 2-2 two -two draw. Crystal Palace probably could have won there towards the end. But the Croydon boys claim some points. Okay, so where does that put us in the league? Look, we shared the points, 2-2. Two -two. Um, it really just depends on Liverpool and Man City's fixtures. So looking at the table, that might have been it. Because Liverpool, even if we get a point back, they're going to beat us on goal difference. Yeah, it's going to come down to the last couple of fixtures. We're just going to hope Liverpool drop points. Because if we get three points in the next, they're still one point ahead of us. <sighs> we might have just lost the title there. Oh, that's gutting because um, I want to look at the league because it depends who they who have they got who do they got so we've got West Ham next they've got Chelsea and I don't know who else oh that's October no this is what we got. Yeah, hang on, where's... Yeah, so where's May? So we got West Ham, they've got Chelsea, and then who do they have? Newcastle. Yeah, I don't know, she's going to be a close one. 
So we've got Arsenal here in the second leg. We're 3-0 up. I'm just looking at the rest of the season. So West Ham, Southampton, Leicester, we need to win all three to really put us within in a shadow of a doubt. But even if we do do even if we do win all three, we have to hope that Liverpool drop points somewhere, which I can't stand waiting on those. Um, but there's a bit of a break there. So I think we'll go second team, first team, second team, first team, first team. And that should give us enough. But it's also just the not knowing as well whether or not we've done enough. So we won't play the first team. This second team, even though it's exhausted, it should be able to get a result here away against Arsenal. We're 3-0 up. Even if we lose, we'll probably be all right. 1-1, Agarlo and Ozil. And we go through to the Europa League final. Okay, guys. Well, welcome to the second match of today's episode. We face West Ham. We've got Southampton. And we've got the, champion, we've got the Europa League final against Atalanta. It looks like they won over Benfica. I thought Benfica probably would have given us a bit of a run. But we've got two cup finals coming up. And we've got the decider probably of the Premier League here today. This is crazy. We could lose the league on 91 points, which I really don't believe. Premier League, 10th of May. Here we go. So we have to pray that Chelsea can knock out Liverpool for us. It's way too close for my liking. But we need to focus on West Ham. We can't focus on the rest of the competition just yet. Okay, uh, so who can I bring on? Greenwood's exhausted. We might be able to bring on Longstaff instead of McTominay. But my first team is keen, raring to go. We're going to have to keep an eye on the goals at Liverpool versus Chelsea. They're hosting them, which isn't the best indication. Actually, I'm going to go with um, let them play in the black kit. That'll be better for me. All right, let's get stuck into the hammers. Far out, man. It's going to be close. We could have done all this effort and that could have been it. Well, it's basically all up to Liverpool. Just too many draws. That's all that did it. Just too many draws. I think it was mostly the Europa League. We had too much fixture congestion and we've gone pretty deep in the cups. Maybe I should have just completely sacrificed them. We just don't have the squad depth to fight over 65 matches a season competitively. Over four... Leagues, uh, let's have a look at West Ham because, look, we can't afford to lose. It's a 4-2-3-1, Fornells, Ogbonna, uh, who else have they got? Fabianski and goal, Fredericks, Ogbonna, Diop, Mas Masawaku. Um, oh, who's this? Vincina, Vincina, okay. Yamalenko, Flip Anderson, Fornells, and, okay. They've got that really good striker from Porter, I believe. But... Kickoff is underway, and we're crossing our fingers and hoping that Chelsea can get the double over Liverpool. If they can, they're going to be going for it because they want Champions League football next season, while we want the league. But we might be able to start things off early here. It's Rashford. Oh, somehow, what? Fernandez got on to the end of it, but it's a yellow card. So what's been given? The ball went out. Oh, they gave advantage. Okay, I don't know if I really wanted that, but whatever. Rashford now from range. Uh, strikes at Fabianski. Fernandez. Ball comes in. Oh. Rashford. Oh, the cross got blocked. Uh, good tackle there. Oh, good one-two pass. Wambasaka has to come up for it. So, we've got to focus on this, but we'll know at some point. It might even come over the comms. The result, David Alaba's in the box here now. And United have to score. Man, this team is absolutely tearing my hair out. At least we've got a header on target for the first time this season. West Ham trying to break things out. Even if it's a draw. Like, Liverpool have to win. But so do we. So it's like, dead on even. No, but even if they get a draw, yeah, they need... Yeah. I don't know. It could be a point. It could very well be a point. Lacazette just scored. That's distracting me seeing that. 
I thought it was the the Liverpool Chelsea game. Twenty nine yards out. We had an easy run towards the end of the year, but you, people you probably say that, but it's these lower sides. I just can't seem to break down. I think it's because I hit on the counter so much. Like I play such a counter attacking football. Like I press, but we also counter it. Oh my god, we also counter attack super hard. So whenever pressure comes on me, my good tackle. We want to try and hit on the brakes as much as we can. Like, why is how is Fredericks just absolutely doing Sancho there? Great tackle by Maguire, and we got to go. Rashford is all out here on his own. He's going to wait for Sanchez to come up. Sanchez is still going. Again, again, again. Oh. We're looking the more dangerous, but we just can't seem to create anything with substance. That's a good tackle. Pogba can't even collect. It's four nulls. I'm so, like, concentrating in that top corner. I want to know about the Liverpool game. I don't care about the Arsenal one. If I'm being perfectly honest. I guess it doesn't matter because we just need to win this. We can't be focusing on the other result. Okay, I tried to make the interception there, but it didn't work. Mm, West Ham are through here. Oh, what a shot on target. <sighs> the grunts and complaining comes out in four nulls with a volley. Man, come on. Now we have to score two. I think we've just lost the league. Far out. We've worked so hard this season. And the best thing is... Oh, we've beaten Liverpool twice. Oh, it's Rashford. He's brought it back maybe just... Crikey. This is nail-biting. This is so, so close. Okay, 1-1. One, one. A draw still not good enough. We need a win. Okay. Still can come in back in this match. Oh, I should have seen the other results. I wasn't looking. Doesn't matter. We got to win. I didn't see it. I clicked past it too quick. It's also probably going to put me off as well. Good stuff by Fernandez. We got to go. Indeedy. Rashford. Oh, I was trying to slip Pogba. There was such a good run from him. Good stuff in DD winning that back. And I'm trying to unload Rashford. Oh, he's put it way too far out in front of him. Oh, good interception. It's got to be Bruno. It has to be. Man. Oh. That's so cheeky, trying to find Masawaku. We're just... Oh, it's bouncing everywhere here, which I hate. What are these passing? Like... This ain't West Ham that we're facing. It's David Moyes. It's Moisey. <laughs> Back at... Old Trafford. Oh... He somehow grabbed onto that. Like, Dave's going to have to come up here because there was no one opening. Pogba, please, just someone make a run. Oh, he has a ball. He's got to finish it. And he does. Low and hard. 2-1. We've come back in this match. That was David De Gea there coming out from the back. Oya's a ball, holds up the ball well, cool, calm and collected, drills it into the bottom right. But will this be enough to win the league? I don't know. I have a feeling in my gut that it's not. 
Okay, substitutions, we don't need to make any. I thought people would be a little bit more exhausted than that. Oh yeah, scores his first Premier League goal, and what a one. If that wins us the league. We're not going to win the league here today, but we can still, we can mathematically be out of it. If we're not careful. Four nows. Yeah, Liverpool have to lose. We won't go top of... Far out. We can't let this ball go in. <gasps> I like nearly lose breath when the balls come in like that. Yeah, so a draw is still a point for Liverpool. If they lose, we go top. If we can hold on to this win. Rashford has to go again. Oh, he's been tackled. Look, whatever happens, I'm so, so proud of you boys. And what we've done this season, I didn't think a title run would be on, especially on this difficulty. To be... Oh. Because we're not going to match them ever on goal difference either. Oh, he has a bowl's playing really well here today. And he's on for his second. And he scored. 3-1 against West Ham. Oh, he has a bowl. Scores a brace at Old Trafford. That's the type of balls I want him to come in with. It's taking him a little bit of a while to sort of warm up. Signing in January. Very few goals. Nice cutback. Opens up. Right into the top left. You can't do much better than that. It's Mikel Oyazabal. The former Real Sociedad man. And we'll do some substitutions here. We shall bring on Longstaff. Greenwood's got some legs in him. Um... Sancho can play as a camp, technically, so we'll do that. Bring Sancho centrally, and we'll chuck you out on the wing. 3-1, have we done enough? Oh, here's a ball. To Rashford. Oh, oh, he is on a hat-trick. Oh. Pogba. Sancho now at the edge of the area. I'm just trying to wait for someone to come in here. Oh, indeedy. From range. Ah, oh, good block. And the substitutions are now coming on. Ball comes in. Oh. Maguire. We've beaten West Ham in a crucial match. But it's really what's happening at Liverpool. Oh, that was a foul. On us, not them. Maybe they're deliberately not showing me. Oh, West Ham are in here. Yarmolenko's trying to go with it. Oh, what am I doing? We're left letting away sloppy stuff. Oh, Dave, what a save. Okay, this is the moment of truth. If Liverpool draw, it's still very... it's It goes unlikely, but we get some breathing room. I haven't heard the news yet, but thanks, Davey, for coming back here. I like your defensive acclimate. Your forward and midfield, not so much. So we need a Chelsea victory to celebrate, really. Are we going to see it here now? Chelsea-Liverpool still hasn't ended yet. Oh, I'm biting my teeth. Oh, was that it? I think the results just came in. I think we, we've still got a game in hand. Hang on, hang on. I need to check out the standings. What happened in that match? Did it? Please. They drew. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's not what we exactly wanted, but it can still work. Far out, they drew. So, so they've played 37. So we've still got a game in hand. So if we win again, we go 
We get if we get three points, we got 80, 92, 93, 94. It's still on. We still can win it. We got a game in hand. We can go by one point before we hit 37. That is way too close for my liking, though. It's still, yeah, it's still a tricky situation we're in. So looking at the Premier League now, we've got Southampton coming up at home, Leicester City, and Spurs in the Cup final along with Atalanta. It's still all to play for, and it's going to go to the final day, boys. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team or maybe just some games I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link G2A there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh, the Patreon Steam group there as well come and join the community on Steam my name has been CMC stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name has been CMC goodbye Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.